Hello, Sagittarius. That was Mario's <laughs> in case you didn't know. I don't know. It's like, da 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 da. Welcome to your reading for beginning to the mid of August. We're going to see who's fucking with you right now. Okay, I'll stop. Anyway. <laughs> This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarius, so check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. As I said previously, this is for the beginning to the middle of August. Uh, yeah. Same, same, same. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I was telling Scorpio in their, in their video about, uh, Wham City and weird, funky, scary, cosmol- cosmic horror HP Lovecraft kind of shit. Um, this house has people in it. Children of the Mirror shit like that. I'm gonna leave a link to that shit so you guys can watch it, right? Because I think you guys would like it too. Because that is my that's my cup of tea. You know, I'm Sag Rising. So, but in Vedic, I'm a Scorpio Rising. So, like, either way, I'm, I'm all for that creepy shit, right? I, I love creepy shit. Like, the weirder, the better. <laughs> That is just my caliente. Anyway, let's see what's going on with you, Sagittarius. Everyone apparently has a narc. Let's see if that's what you guys are dealing with as well. Well, Capricorns had a narc for like a, at least a year stalking them. But we're not worried about them. We are worried about you. Uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. You might not be offering your cup to anybody. You might just be taking it away like, now, mine. What you want and wish for is a partnership of some sort, relationship, um, friendship, anything that leaves you connected to another person. Fears and Rejections is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, yours isn't too bad, Sag. You want, you're afraid of a, a staggering beginning, though. However, there could be a Leo or this is you or an Aries where someone is being kind of like nasty in the situation. Um, overbearing, controlling, funky shit like that, right? The obstacle and challenge coming against you, though, is the Four of Wands. Could be Gemini, right? Which is like this pairing right here. The obstacle for you is actually to get a partnership going. Or dealing with a partnership whatsoever. Um, unfortunately, what'll start this shit and what'll end it is the Ace of Wands reverse. Something's not getting started right here. With your beginning theme being, there's no message to be said to harvest. Eight of Wands. Oh, I forgot all about Scorpius. Um, I'm actually writing down the title of a video of one of the videos I just suggested to you guys. I'll have to find them because oh my god, I'll, I'll like you guys would like it. You really would. I promise. I wouldn't steer you wrong unless you know I was like drunk or in the hospital and like their drugs or whatever which is honestly it's really scary when you get medication that like zonks you out like i don't uh, like that's like i've never been like a druggy person really that's just kind of scary to me but anyway let's see what's going on with you sagittarius like you're not offering your love to this um 401 situation because you're too scared of like the offer being too much to with for you with that dragon holding the pentacle you might be being a little bit too aggressive with what you think a relationship needs to be. And that's why something isn't starting here. Um, yeah, like, you're not giving your cup out because you're still waiting for something to move or something to happen. Like, swift action, change, something like Like, you want something to change before, like, you offer your cup to this over here, which is just like, oh, okay. Um... The situation with the King of Wands could be you, Leo, Aries, right? Someone who's a bit too childish or demanding or expecting shit. Hi, Fats. Yeah, on the table. Um, someone's expecting a little bit too much. And it's like, ooh, it's kind of like... It's a little too much passion. Just a little bit. Like, you know how, um... Okay, Sagittarius, 
I'm just saying this outright. If you were allowed to say, if you were to go out and say exactly what is on your mind, you would probably be run out of town. <laughs> like, honestly, you guys are like, like, you guys could be a bit much for people who don't know how to handle you. You're just that zodiac sign, you know? You guys are also, to me in the zodiacs, the, um, moral compass. Like, you know how to bend other people's morality so you don't have to worry about your own? Like, one of those things, right? And it's like, you got too much passion. You got so much passion, you kind of run people away when they come to try to visit your house. Now, was this two cups right here? Or maybe you're trying to deal with somebody who's more passionate than you. Like, you feel like you got to go against somebody who's way more um, aggressive than you. And you feel like you're going to lose against them? The two of cups right here, are these two people, this dude just shoving his cup in this other chick's face, and she's just like, Ew, my belly! And he's like, oh, I'll make that belly hurt, don't worry. You know? Like, tempting you, man, to come out of your guard. That's what this person's trying to do. That's what you want. You want someone to tempt you into that little cave, you know, just so they can see what... Y okay, I'm gonna stop, because, like, it's getting, like, kind of gross. The obstacle and challenge, um, coming against y'all, this four of wands right here, it's like, um, you want to make a home with the obstacles right here, and it's like, you gotta make a home first, you know? And it feels like you want to run away and get away from this first, from people. Every time you get close to making a connection or a home with somebody, and they usually catch up with you, you know? Just be like, hey, what are you doing? Like the hell is kind of like, like or I don't know it's like either you're tempting somebody or they're tempting you one of the two but it's like if you try to make a home right here you might like if the door is open you'd probably just run out the fucking door like you wouldn't jump out a 30 story window like Aquarius would but if that was the only way to get out you'd probably find a hammer and like use it against the wall probably just being like fuck a window fuck a door I'm gonna just tear this up and ruin your house while I'm getting out, too. It's like, you guys are too worried about getting... Like, if, you, if someone tempts you to come in, you find a way of sneaking out, and they just find the evidence later. The obstacle and challenge coming against you right now, Sag? Ace of Pentacles? Like, you're scared of the dragon. Right? Because you've been hurt before. Like, that offer's powerful, and it's like, you know... You don't want your emotions used against you as previously, I think. And this Ace of Wands, this new... Actually, there are two Aces. I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. I mean, you want to... Like, yeah, it's like if I reverse it, it's like you're still mulling over a situation where you gave so much too much power. And this Ace of Wands, you're too worried about what people see. As you try to have happiness, but when you reverse it and you do start something, it's like you have eyes on you. Like, watching you to make sure you're not happy, right? Hmm. Ooh. Tower. Is your ending theme, Sagittarius. This tower moment came and made you realize that no one's sending the message to make anything happen. This person is tempting to make your belly hurt. <laughs> so at least that's fun. You're either tempting someone else or they're tempting you. One of the two. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm being really gross today. I apologize. <laughs> Let's see. We got... Yeah, you definitely want an offer of something in the home. You just don't know how to do it, honestly. I think, like, if people are to approach you, you get, like, way too nervous. Like, you're too busy trying to impress people to be yourself, I think. And then people end up getting pissed at you because they don't know how to take you, right? And then, yeah, you're just going to wander until, like, you're just going to leave this 
left behind. Could be dealing with a water sign, too, because the knight was up here as well. It's just like you're turning your back, but you still went off your love somewhere. And you're still willing to try to go and get a relationship, that one way or another, whether it's with belly hurting guy or somewhere else, you're going to find it somewhere. So, yeah, I want to pull one more for that lover's one. What will it take for you to actually find a beautiful, wonderful lover? Look at all the shit that leaves you a zombie. Like, it's almost like an obsession. Like, I want to be in a relationship. But it's like every time you go into a relationship, you like drain yourself to the point where you don't feel like yourself anymore. But that's because you put so much of yourself into a situation. It's like you want someone to love you for the way you are, but you're so worried about not clicking right with somebody or at worst getting bored of being with the person that it's like you kind of end up draining yourself with what you think would be the perfect relationship, which my advice would be, you know, like, yeah, pick out who you think would be good for you, but don't put yourself in a position where, um, you know, you're going to be shocked at the results. You know, hurt that belly. You know, that's all I'm saying. But anyway, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Um, thanks for watching the video. You can like, share, subscribe if you want to do that. No pressure, of course. Um, if you want a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below, as well as the music that I use in the background. You guys try to have a good day and take it easy. You're like the best, happiest reading I've gotten to so far, so congrats on that. I will see you guys later. All right, bye.